Richard. Stephanie, what's your typical strategy? Is it a, a refinance and hold or is it a sale? Um, well, with us, we kind of started, we, our goal for both of us, we just happened to share the same values, but for us, we wanted to grow real organically and slowly. We didn't want to use, um, institutional money. We wanted to have individual investors in each of our deals. And so if you know anything about raising money, it takes a little time <laughs> to get yeah. you know, investors, uh, you know, especially if, this one we're going to be closing at the end of the year is a raise of $7 million. So we couldn't just start out with that amount. So we, we started more like in like 20 to 30 units. And then we built up to like 50 and 60 units. And then now we're uh, this, this property is at 160 units. And we did that specifically because we wanted our investors to invest with us once and then be so happy that they want to invest again and again. So I'm sorry, I'm going into a long answer here is our small <laughs> properties we we just want to sell them actually the the smaller ones but like this 160 unit and we actually closed on a 55 unit last month those are legacy properties they're you know we look at them as legacy properties so yes we will probably refinance those um give the clients their returns and then ask them if they want to continue you know um in the project or if they want to um, do a different one now, do you, do you let them retain their equity position through perpetuity or is there a, a buyout period or, or is it both? Yeah, uh, it's whatever the, we are, we have small enough investor, you know, I don't think we have more than like 30 or 40 investors in any one of our projects. So we can talk to, you know, people and see what they want to do. And we're, we're very accommodating because we, couldn't do what we do without our investors. So right. that, you know, we are going to make them over backwards, make them happy to be sure they get what they want.